there's my yurt. Whew. Cute little place. but I figured out the heater. Yeah, yeah. Feel that warmth, son. Here's where I'm gonna stay. I just made my bed and put my clothes up there. And I put my head to the opposite end because that's gonna keep me warm. So it'll be nice to have my feet toasty. Well, I'm pretty happy with this yurt. That heater keeps it nice and warm. I don't need those beds, but yeah. nose you guys it is jacked up every bit of me is drawn I'm just loading up the chapstick <laughs> anyways I've got the yurt all figured out so now I'm gonna go into town I think Georgetown is the closest town and get some grub and then play it from here it's like 5 4 30 4 45 oh, I'm loving the yurt y'all if you haven't checked out a yurt check them out they are like glamping on steroids now mine doesn't have any water or electricity but had it had those things plus a bathroom, I'd live in it with my dogs. So <laughs> the bathroom is just a short walk down. Um, I can actually show it to you right here. So that's the bathroom. I'll give y'all a better view because this is like totally bug gut city. But yeah, there you go. My first beer since July. Not too bad. It's a local. It's kind of sweet. Hey everybody, so I'm in bed in the top bunk at the in the yurt and I had an awesome dinner down in Georgetown, Colorado and I brought leftovers so I'll have dinner for the next couple of nights. Um, the heater is cranking and it is nice and toasty in here so I am super excited because it's going to get pretty chilly in Colorado in the mountains tonight. So not that I am opposed to cold winter camping because obviously I've done now two trips where it's dropped down to 11 degrees, um, which to some people might not be very much, but to me that's a pretty extreme, <laughs> those are pretty extreme temperatures for someone like me who's not used to cold winter camping. So I'm pretty thankful to be in the yurt tonight because um, I'm staying nice and warm with the heater and with this really nice cozy blanket that is provided by the company. Um, so I will leave a description down below of where I'm at and so if you're interested, you can check them out. They're really nice and pretty relatively inexpensive. Um, so the bathrooms are just a couple, maybe like a hundred feet away. Um, and it's really icy and snowy outside. Um, so uh, with the temperatures dropping, it could be pretty <laughs> interesting if I have to pee in the middle of the night. So. Um, just keeping that in mind. I do have my headlamp and I've got the flashlight, so I'm not worried about not being able to see. Um, but the bathrooms are warm, so I'm really excited about that. Good morning. Off to the bathroom. Ooh, it's slippery. I'm gonna go this way. Because there's less snow than there is. I'll just show you some of the different cabins. Good view.
It is a little noisy here at 70. There's a little hole. There's the cabins back there. I almost stayed in those, but I decided to stay in the yard. It's much cheaper. Here's the bathhouse. There's where you check in. We have a bar upstairs. They have women and men. I don't know why it's so dark. <sighs> Anyways, my hair is almost dry, so I guess I'm gonna get ready to go on a hike. I might have to go put my head next to that. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna go out there, it's like in the 20s. I don't wanna go out there with wet hair, so. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some dinner. It's very dark in here, but it's nice and toasty cause of the f heater which I'm covering. So, sorry the video is not like the greatest. Um, but so far the yurt experience is pretty awesome. Um, I'm, I am gonna move from the top bunk down to the bigger bed, um, the futon down below. Um, more room to stretch out. <laughs> and if I have to pee in the middle of the night, I'll have to climb downstairs. So I will do that in just a minute. All right, so I've opened the door and I'm going to start my propane. So for dinner, I'm filling some ramen. Okay, that's much better. Cheers.